diadem of the giant kings was once worn upon the brow of the priest king. He fell in battle with Tyros, the Deathbringer, in the battlefields of the north. More than that, I cannot say. The priest king was the most passionate and most volatile among us. I fear his downfall will not have been a simple matter. The priest king lies on the western side of the map in the mid region over here in the Baro King. Once you approach, you will be met with a field of ghouls. Slaughter your way through and make your way to the great door. Now, this door you will need the blood of a demon to open. So make sure you come here prepared. As long as you have the blood of a demon, when you come up to this door and press your interact button, you will be able to open. Proceed in and get ready to face the Priest King. Awoken by a mortal. Your kind has always been a Although he is quick, he is pretty easy to kill. Uh, but being one of the Priest Kings, he does have a bit more health than others. If you're trying to avoid damage, every uh, two, three hits of his, you're able to dodge, you're able to get a hit in on him. Once he's defeated, all you need to do is pull out your harvesting tool, give him a smack, and you will harvest the diadem of the giant kings. Callum Publigo believed that it contained the diadem of the giant kings, of the people who dwelt in the dark land before the ancestors of the Stegen came there. He showed me a design carved on the lid which he swears was the shape of the diadem which legend tells us the monster king wore. Rogue in the house. Too large to be worn by a human, this diadem hums with contained power. Taken from the priest kings of the giant kings, known today as the Burrow King, the story of the diadem is one of betrayal and hatred. It seems that, it seems that the priest king was the father of Teros, the Deathbringer. Teros turned against his father at some point during the war between the Lumerians and the giant kings, and his father cursed him and all of his loyal warriors. Such is the strength of the diadem that Tyros and his men were cursed to live forever, a silent legion brooding in the ruins of the north. This is one of the artifacts required to create the keystone that can be used to remove the slave bracelets. And with that, we can make our way out, open the door, and exit in search of our next artifact of power. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe.